Hello once again. Now let's move to final consonant clusters. Let's begin with final two consonant clusters. Number one, prefinal plus final. So let me remind you that prefinal includes one of the following consonants: m, n, n, l, or s. Examples: think. So in think we have prefinal n, and k is final. In ask, for example, s is prefinal. And k is final. In milk, l is prefinal, and in uh, final is the final consonant is k. Bamp, m is prefinal, and p is final. Let's make the tree representation. So, number one, think. So in think, we have we have th, and in the rhyme we have the vowel sound or the nucleus e. And the two final consonants, so which are prefinal n and final k. So it is a C V C C syllable. Another example, BAMP. So in BAMP we have the um, onset B and the rhyme includes the nucleus or the vowel sound A and the two consonants we have M in the code of course. M is prefinal and P is final. So it is a C, V, C, C syllable. Now let's move to the second kind of uh, final two consonant clusters. We have final plus post final one of S, Z, T, D, or Th. Examples we have the word eggs. So basically, the word egg. It ends in g, and when it is in the in the plural, we are going to add s, which is pronounced z. So in this case, g is final, and z is post final. The same thing, uh, the same thing. Sorry, with kicked, we have k final, verb to kick. So k is the final consonant, and t is post final. Missed, s is final. Two is post final. Fifth, f is final, and th is post final. Cats, t is final, and s is post final. Let's make a tree representation for for the word eggs. So we have in eggs there is a zero onset, and the nucleus is a. And the two uh, final consonants are g and z. So g is final, z is post final. So it is a VCC syllable. Another example with cats. So in cats we have the, in the onset we have the uh, the consonant k, and in the in the uh, rhyme we have the nucleus a and the two final consonants t and s. So in this case t is final. And so is post final. So it is a C V C C syllable. Now let's move to final three consonant clusters. There are two types. Number one, prefinal plus final plus post final. Examples asked. So in asked we have prefinal su, final k, post final t. Another example, banks. So in banks we have uh, prefinal new. Final k and post final s. In twelfth, we have prefinal l, final f, and post final th. Number two, more than one post final consonant. Here we have final plus post final one plus post final two. Post final two is one of s, z, t, d, or th. Examples we have fifths. So in fifths we have. We don't have a prefinal. We have the final consonant sound f, post final one or number one th, and post final number two s. In the example lapsed, so there is no prefinal, and we have the final consonant which is p, post final one s, and post final two t. Now. Most four consonant clusters can be analyzed as consisting of a final consonant preceded by a prefinal and followed by a postfinal one and postfinal two. 
Examples. Twelfths. So pre-final here. Le. Final. F. Post-final one. F. Post-final two. S. Prompts. In prompts, we have pre-final. M. Final. P. Post-final one. T. Post-final two. S. Small number of cases seem to require a different analysis as consisting of a final consonant with no pre-final but three post-final consonants. Examples, sixths. So in sixths, we have final q, post-final one, s, post-final two, th, post-final three, s. Texts. So we have, there is no pre-final and we have final q, post-final one, s, post-final two, t, and post-final three, s. In sum, the English syllable is described as follows. We have in the onset, we have pre-initial, initial, post-initial. Post it means some syllables uh, have pre-initial, initial, post-initial. Post Other syllables have pre-initial and initial. Other syllables have initial, post-initial, plus the vowel sound, plus the coda, which can, which can have as a maximum of syllables, four. How, so in this case so in this case we have sometimes you find pre-final plus final plus post final sometimes you don't have pre-final as the the um, the above examples okay plus post final one post final two post final three so that's it thank you so much dr Melika Kuti.